Filming birds can be quite a difficult endeavor at the best of times, even when one is in their home environment. This challenge is only escalated in the dense undergrowth of the Costa Rican rainforest, in which the tangled vegetation provides an extra obstacle for a wildlife filmmaker. Among all the avian species to call the rainforest home, one group stands out as easily the hardest to get on camera, the hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are tiny, lightning-fast birds that are perhaps the greatest challenge of all for any would-be admirer to observe. We knew that we wanted to feature some of these brilliant gems in an episode, but had absolutely no idea where to start. So when we learned of a preserve hidden high on the slopes of Volcan Poas in the center of the country that was home to dozens of tolerant, reliably seen hummingbirds, we jumped at the rare opportunity to film them in the wild. We arrived at the preserve with high hopes, and when we stepped into the garden at the edge of the rainforest, we knew that we had found the place that we were looking for. We had reached the home of the true Jewels of the Jungle. One of the biggest challenges filming here in Costa Rica has actually been catching up with hummingbirds. So what we've done today is we've come to the La Paz Waterfall Gardens and Wildlife Sanctuary to try and film some of the hummingbirds that they have here. Now what they do is they leave out these feeders and they're full of nectar and the hummingbirds will come in from the rainforest to feed here and it's actually a great opportunity for us to be able to catch up with these animals that we normally wouldn't be able to see because the rainforest is so dense it has been raining so much here. So let's get up close with these hummingbirds and see how many species we can show you. Now these are all completely wild, right? Oh, absolutely. So we are surrounded by rainforest here on the Poas Volcano. So these hummingbirds actually come out of the rainforest. They're all completely wild. They come here to eat and then they go back into their rainforest homes. Dispersed amongst the many hummingbirds of the preserve, we encounter the bananaquit, a passerine species easily identifiable by its namesake yellow chest. Bananaquits are distributed throughout the Caribbean and through much of South America, and prefer areas of open tropical forests and fields. Bananaquits feed mainly on sugar-rich nectar from flowers, though will also eat fruit and small insects on occasion. However, as passerines, bananaquits cannot hover in place while they feed. Instead, they must perch on a branch while feeding from flowers. In order to access the nectar, bananaquits have a specialized curved bill that allows them to reach deeper into the flowers to extract the nectar. Bananaquits are renowned for their adaptability to human environments and have been known to construct nests in urban settings. They've also been nicknamed the sugar bird due to their affinity for bird feeders stocked with granulated sugar, which is a reliable way to attract this species. It was very interesting to see how the bananaquits interacted with the large hummingbird population as they competed for the same food resources, and it highlighted just how adaptable bananaquits truly are. Amazingly, we encountered a total of nine different species of hummingbirds on the Poas volcano, which was the highest density of various hummingbirds we've observed in the same location. The species we filmed in Costa Rica belong to the neotropical hummingbirds, which range throughout Central and South America. Though their colors vary dramatically from one species to the next, all hummingbirds share similar points of anatomy, namely their remarkably small bodies, narrow needle-like bills, and saber-like wings. Their frames are perfectly adapted for specialized flight, and in fact, hummingbirds are the most agile of any avian species. Believe it or not, hummingbirds can fly in all directions, hover in place, and even fly backwards. They are the only vertebrates capable of sustained hovering in flight, and this maneuverability allows them to fly effortlessly through their dense tropical habitat. Despite the high density of hummingbirds we encountered in the preserve, hummingbirds are largely solitary animals, and often become locked in competition for food resources when many individuals are present in an area. Because of this, many hummingbird species are quite territorial, and will adamantly defend preferred feeding areas from others. For this reason, the opportunity to film with so many hummingbird species all in the same place is incredibly rare, and is a privilege we won't soon forget. Hummingbirds have one of the most specialized diets in the avian world. They are what are known as nectarivores, which refers to a species that primarily feeds on the nectar from flowers. Nectar is a sugar-rich food source that provides a lot of nutrients, and this high-energy diet is necessary to sustain the incredible physiology of these hyperactive little birds. In order to facilitate their dynamic flight patterns, 
Hummingbirds flap their wings over 3,000 times per minute on average. That's around 50 wing beats per second. In addition to this, the heart rate of hummingbirds is equally impressive, as their hearts will beat over 1,200 times per minute. All of these astounding adaptations allow hummingbirds to capitalize on a food source that very few other birds can, which limits their competition from other avian species. Despite this, different species of hummingbirds are forced to compete among themselves for the same type of food resource. And with over 50 of these birds found in just Costa Rica alone, there is still significant competition present in this niche. This has caused an incredible evolutionary divergence among hummingbird species, with many species specializing to feed on a particular shape or type of flower. This is what has given rise to the myriad of forms that hummingbirds take with some species like the green hermit evolving long curved beaks to reach deep into large flowers, while others like the green thorntail have adapted to feed on smaller, wider flower species. In order to maintain their insane metabolism, hummingbirds must visit more than 1,000 flowers per day just to function normally. These industrious birds are true marvels of evolution, as they represent a perfect example of a group of birds adapting to suit specific niches in the ecosystem where an abundance of food exists, and evolving to be able to partition those resources manageably. We filmed an incredible array of hummingbird species, each more beautiful than the next. Perhaps the highlight of this adventure was the rare purple-throated mountain gem a species that is endemic to the rainforest highlands of central Costa Rica and Panama. Every hummingbird we filmed was striking and impressive, but the spectacular coloration of this species truly stood out to us in the field. Their namesake purple throats make them instantly recognizable, and when coming to Costa Rica, they were a noteworthy target for us to film. Getting to check such a coveted bird off of our life list was an incredible experience, and a great way to cap off one of the best birding adventures of our entire lives. The hummingbirds of Costa Rica proved to be some of our feistiest, quickest, and most fascinating subjects on our entire adventure. We do not often get to film with hummingbirds because of their rapid movement and sporadic temperament, so this excursion was particularly exciting for us. Typically renowned for their agility and striking coloration, the ecological importance of hummingbirds is often overlooked. However, in reality, hummingbirds perform a critical function in the environment. They serve as pollinators, which is vital to catalyzing plant growth throughout their tropical environment. Without this layer of understory, the tropical ecosystem would collapse, and hummingbirds perform an inimitable role in this process. For this reason, we wanted to highlight these incredible birds for you guys so you can gain a deeper appreciation for a staple member of the rainforest ecosystem. If you enjoyed this episode exploring the neotropical hummingbirds of Costa Rica, leave a like on the video and comment down below which species was the most striking to you. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers. There's always more exciting videos in store for you guys, and we know you won't want to miss any of it. See you soon, guys!